Hey everyone, I'm Zockley and welcome to another Space Engineers update video. This week's update is all about bug fixes and improvements. Or is it? In fact, I think this update is the one you've all been waiting for. I'm very happy to announce that today we have a massive update for you, one that's been months in the making. This means the total block redesign, new multiplayer netcodes, a tutorial campaign and much more. There's a lot to talk about so let's get stuck in straight away with the model redesign. Nearly every art asset in the game has been redone together with the first iteration of render optimizations. This includes new block models, new weapon and tool models, new component models and new voxel textures. All of these assets now use physically based rendering or PBR. The artists have done a fantastic job on these models. Some are simply a sight to behold. There's an incredible amount of models in the game so you can expect various bugs to be fixed over the coming weeks. And as always, if you find any sort of bugs, please report them on our forums. It's worth mentioning that there will now be time to listen to community feedback on the new models, so we can modify, adjust and improve them as required. Aside from the redesign blocks, we also have a couple of completely new ones to add. These are of course the corner lights and corner LCDs, available for both small and large grids, and created by Arendelle. So many, many thanks to him. They really did help the level designers with creating the desired atmosphere of the campaign missions. Now, let's talk about multiplayer. It was decided that we would take the best features and technologies from all of the multiplayer contestants and combine them into one ultimate multiplayer experience. This means that as well as the netcodes and performance based features, it's also bringing gameplay features like mag boots and voice communication. Mag boots allow you to walk all around grids in zero G, but only work if there is no natural or artificial gravity. Voice communication works within antenna range, and you can chain together antenna networks to increase your range. Thanks to Rexar, there are more advanced admin tools in the Space Master menu. This is just the first iteration, and more tools may be added in the future. We've also redesigned permissions in-game adding new scripter and moderator roles. For more details on these changes, check our forums. There are some important and exciting modding changes this week, including a new way for mods to store custom data inside entities. Please see the link in the description for more details if you are a modder or a scripter. Next up, we've got the tutorial campaign. This is a short campaign mainly designed to help new players get into the game but it should provide a lot of fun for existing players too, as it's a great showcase of the storytelling potential in Space Engineers. We hope you enjoy it and that it will inspire content creators out there to design their own missions and campaigns. They have all the same tools that our in-house designers have at their disposal, like triggers, cutscenes, drone AI and more. Thanks to the tutorial campaign, we spent some time improving drone AI. They can now strafe, attempt to ram when out of ammo, use static weaponry, have more specific targeting and be assigned waypoints. Currently, these features can only be utilised in your own drones via the visual scripting tool. One of my favourite features that we're also adding this week is the ability to control a single automated turret while still driving or flying a vehicle. The only requirement is that you set one cockpit on a grid as the main cockpit. Once controlling a turret, you can aim it with the mouse while using the WASD keys to steer the vehicle. By holding ALT, you can switch back to controlling gyroscopes with your mouse. We've also cleaned up camera overlays and added a zoom function to all automated turrets to help you make that crucial shot. Moving on, we've added the ability for bullet decals to be seen from the inside of cockpits, so now you will really know when you're getting hit. We improve building by allowing the block size to be automatically selected by the grid that you are pointing at. You can change the size manually by pressing the block button on your toolbar again, so you are still able to create a new grid from any block. Lastly, 
You can now interact with highlighted blocks by pressing the left mouse button and interact with control panels by pressing the right mouse button. And that's everything for today. If you're interested in the full list of features, bug fixes, tweaks and improvements in this enormous update, please see the change log on our forums. We really hope you enjoy all these new features and the tutorial campaign. The team here at Keen Software House has been working incredibly hard on all these things for months now, but is happy to finally see them in the hands of the community. I also can't wait to see your creations using the new models and to read everyone's feedback and comments. Just as a small reminder, please consider voting for Space Engineers as this year's Indie Game of the Year over on IndieDB. You can find a link for this in the description box below. I'd like to thank you for watching and for all of your support. I'll see you next week and here's something to end on. Nothing makes an engineer more productive than the last minute.